Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Stat Counter on the new WordPress blog. So right now, I'm logged into Stat Counter, and you should be able to log in using the username and password that was provided to you in the passwords.xls spreadsheet in Google Docs. So once you're logged in, all you need to do is click on Add New Project under My Projects. So let's go ahead and do that. And once you've done that, this page should appear. So what we're going to do right now is just type in the website title, version table reviews, and the URL.com. And again, this will be whatever WordPress blog that you happen to be working on. Uh, and for category, just choose business. That's fine. And then we click on the next button at the bottom. After you've done that, this congratulations page should pop up, and all you need to do is click on configure and install code. Then you definitely want to choose the invisible counter, it's the second option right here. Then click on next once again. And then this page will pop up asking you what installation guide you'd like to use, and you'll just want to stick with the default. So click on next once again. And once you've clicked on next, the inversion table reviews uh, stat counter code setup wizard should appear. Um, and all you need to do is go to this box, right click and copy. All of it should be highlighted. And then we need to go back to our WordPress blog. So go back to the control panel for WordPress. One second and we'll go right over there. So now we're back at our WordPress control panel. And what we need to do is click on appearance, this down arrow right here, and then click on editor. Now once you do that, you should see this uh, HTML code, CSS code all pop up right over here. And what we want to do is go to the right side, and you're going to see all these theme files. And you're going to want to click on footer. So click on footer right here. And once you've clicked on footer, you should see footer at the top right here with footer.php. And we need to scroll down to this right here, slash HTML. And what we want to do is add in the stat counter code right before that. And after we've done that, click on update file. It should say file edited successfully. And now you can go ahead and check out Stat Counter to see if it's successfully installed. There should be one visit on there. So now that you've done that, Stat Counter is successfully installed, and you can move on to the next step.